Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about building a Mad Libs game in Ruby. So we're going to build a little Mad Libs game and I'll kind of show you some more about how we can get input from a user. So if you're not familiar with Mad Libs, a Mad Libs is basically just a game where you would enter in like a bunch of random like words, maybe like nouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, and then you'd take all of those words that you'd enter in and like sort of sprinkle them in inside of a story. And generally, like since you're entering in random words, the story is going to be like kind of funny. So over here, I have an example of a Mad Lib. You can see down here, it's like telling the user to enter in like a noun, a plural noun, an adjective. And we're actually can build a Mad Libs game inside of our Ruby program. So down here, you'll notice I have a little basic program set up. It's basically printing out this poem. Roses are red, violets are blue, I love you. And so this is, you know, kind of a classic poem, but I think we can mix it up a little bit and create a Mad Libs for this poem. So how about we say, instead of roses are red, we'll let the user enter in a color. Instead of saying violets are blue, we'll let them enter in a plural noun. And instead of saying I love you, why don't we let them enter in like someone else? So maybe like a celebrity. Instead of having just roses are red, violets are blue, I love you, we'll have roses are and whatever the color the user enters in, whatever the plural noun they enter in are blue, and then I love a certain celebrity. So this should be kind of funny. So let's set up our program. The first thing I want to do is get input from the user. So I want to be able to get three pieces of information from the user. I want to get the color, I want to get the plural noun, and then I want to get the celebrity. After we get that input, then we'll intersperse those variables inside of this little output. So let's get the input from the user. I'm just gonna come over here and we'll just print out a prompt. It'll just say, enter a color. So the first thing they'll do is enter the color. And now what we're gonna do is store that in a variable called color. So I'll say color is equal to gets.chomp. And remember, chomp is just getting rid of the new line that gets entered when you click the enter button. All right, so we'll enter in a guess, and we're also gonna do two more of these, so I'm just gonna paste this two more times. And then we're gonna enter in a plural noun, and we'll make a variable called plural noun. And finally, they're gonna enter in a celebrity. So we'll make a variable called celebrity. So now we have three variables that are storing the three pieces of information that the user input. Last step is to come down here, and instead of just printing out color inside of curly brackets, I'm actually just gonna add in that color variable. So we'll print out color, same thing for the plural noun, and same thing for the celebrity. Now our program is essentially set up, we're getting the input, and then we're just printing out the actual bad libs. So remember, whenever we get input from the user, I have to use my terminal down here. So instead of just using this little like Atom Runner plugin that we've been using throughout the course, I'm gonna use my terminal, and down here, I'm just gonna to go to the directory where my Ruby file is stored, and I can just run it. So I'm just gonna say Ruby draft.rb, that's the name of the file, and I'm gonna run the program. So it's gonna ask me to enter a color, so why don't we enter in like magenta. It says enter a plural noun, I'm gonna enter in microwaves, and enter a celebrity, why don't we do like Tom Hanks. So now what should happen when I click enter is all of that information should get put inside of our Mad Libs and we should get the finished story. So I'm gonna click enter and you'll see down here we get our finished story. So it just says, roses are magenta, microwaves are blue, I love Tom Hanks. So basically the user could run this program, they could enter in all the words for the Mad Lib and then we'll basically just be printing out the Mad Lib. So it's actually a pretty simple program. You can see how easy it is to build a game like a Mad Lib inside of Ruby. It's super easy. And also, if you wanted, you could make this a lot more complex. So, you know, you could add have them add in like adverbs, verbs, adjectives, like all sorts of stuff inside of here, make obviously the story a little bit longer, and you could essentially replicate any Mad Lib inside of your Ruby program, which is awesome. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.